Hi guys, in this session you are going to learn about date and time functions in SAS. Function definition is a function is a component that can accept arguments and perform operation then return values. Date and time functions are used to perform only on date and time data type variables. The following are the date and time functions. The first one is DHMS and what does it do? adds up date, hour, month and second to the date. Okay, then how it will be? I named the data set DHMS and A equals to 1 January 1989 and while creating a date variable must and should give D. If you give D only, it consider as a date. Directly if you give this date it doesn't consider it just consider as a character keep in mind it's a very important while creating a date variable got it while creating a date variable must and should add d at the end at that situation only it consider it as a date now we add our month seconds to this particular date and b equals to 15 D equals to 30, D equals to 15. It means 15 hours, 30 minutes, 15 seconds. And DA, DA2 is a new variable. And DHMS is a function. Date, hour, month, second. And A, B, C, D. A represent date. And B represent hours. C represent time. C represent minutes. D represents seconds and then just next one DHID DHMS and simply instead of giving variables if you give direct observations like this it's also take the same okay and I give a format to all the variables and run before opening data set check lock lock is clear DHMS A B C D in D T I D 2 just it convert as a date and time observation in the middle it gives D we call as a ISO 8601 format and the next one without variables if you give directly observation between the date and time it doesn't represent with the T this is the difference by directly applying by the observation and directly apply by the function and while creating a date and time observation like this, T is the must and should between the date and time. So, it's a better to create by the function. And the next one is MD by to create a date by month, day and year. And I name of the data set MD by M equals to 1, D equals to 12 and Y equals to 2013. And A is a new variable, MDY is the function and M comma D comma Y and I gave a format to the A. Simply we are creating one date here and before opening data set check lock, lock is clear. MDY, month, date, year by these three we are getting a date. Like this by the MDY you can create a one date and the next one int CK. In the CK, it gives difference between two dates. Got it? It gives a difference between two dates. And data set name is an NTCK. And A equals to 19 June 2017. D is a must and should while creating a date. And B equals to another date. In the CK, Y. Okay? And in the CK is a function. And year of A comma B. Then what it gives between A and B it gives only year differences. Okay, next one into CK M into CK of month comma A comma B. It means it gives months difference between the two dates. And into CK D into CK and day of A comma B. It means it gives days difference between the two dates. And format I give a format for the two variables A and B before opening data set. Uh, lock, lock is clear. 
into CK. Here, in the into CK Y, it gives the year's difference between A and B. What is the year's difference? Only one year, 2017-2018. And into CK M, it gives the di month's difference between this two, June to June 12. And, uh, and D gives day's difference between these two variables observation. Like this, we use the int CK for to measure the difference between two days. And the next one is an int NX. It adds up two days. Got it? Int CK is gives the different. Int NX is add. And I named the data set int NX and A equals to when we creating a one date variable while creating a date variable D is a must and should and int nx y equals to int nx is a function and here a comma 10 and same thing here we are adding year how many years 10 years and what about date and month same day it means we are not changing date and month we are just adding 10 years to the variable a and the next one int nx m and int nx of month a comma 5 same day simply we are not changing the remaining ones it means we are not changing the day and year we are just changing the month and we are adding 5 months to the same day got it same day means Whatever you mentioned in the code that will be changed and the remaining two are the same. Here, if you mentioned year, date and month are the same. If you mentioned month, day and year are the same. In the next one, int nx1 and int nx is the function month a comma 4. Now, if you are not giving the same day, then simply it's add direct months to the existing variable int nxd int nx is the function days of a comma 10 and we are applying just format to the all and run before opening data set check class log is clear int nx here in the a variable we are giving in int nx we are just adding 10 years to the a and same day means of what date and month is not changing here 19 june 19 june and only year is changed. Why? Because in the code we are giving same day. And the next one is int nxm. It means we are adding 5 months at same day. It means of what? Day and year is not changing. Only month is changing. In the next one we are not mentioned a same day. Simply it adds 4 months to the month. And the remaining also same. It just adds 10 days to the month 19 june it just adding 10 days like this int nx is used to add sub to dates like this while uh, practicing yourself to create your own examples please subscribe my channel click the bell icon like the video and comment below share with your friends thank you for me